So now that you have the engine out, uh, we have it on dollies here. Um, once again, like the reason why this one's so much easier is because it's all wheel drive. So before you can pull your motor out, you have to get rid of all this all here. Take all this stuff off. Take all this off. And then you are you pretty much can uh, have, a, have enough room to sneak your motor out there. But this is the best, easiest way. So once it's uh, on the dollies there, you want to split the transmission here. So again, these are 14s. Um, you need the special socket. So what you want to do is you want to take both your both lines off You want to take uh, this guy here. It's three quarters and then this guy here as well uh, Take the other one off. I just put the bolt back in as soon as you take it out so you don't lose it just like that uh, and then you want to take the uh, the little <coughs> transmission oil drain like some people like uh, Pulling the motor, but I'd rather just get it out and then drain on the oil. So it, it's not that messy so what we're going to do is we're going to take all 14 bolts, uh, 14 millimeter bolts out all the way around the bell housing and the transmission. Once that's off, you want to leave uh, this clip here uh, attached to this little shroud here. Um, you can take this bolt out, take that bolt out, and then loosen this one and you can twist that out of the way and pull it out. Or you can just take that bolt out, that bolt out, and just remember to put it back. Once again, we're going to uh, mark each and every single bolt uh wood marker and uh uh bags there this is for example like what i what i done there so I, you, you you name it and and then you put it in the bag so you, you can keep track of everything makes the process go a little bit faster so you're not searching for bolts so once you take all the uh, uh your transmission coolant lines off uh, both sides drain your oil you have your oil in uh, before you begin to tear all this part, make sure your uh, your exhaust CO2 sensors are taken off. That's your big old plastic wires right there. And just hang them off to the side. And then what you want to do, uh, I find the easiest way is to take off uh, your uh, front shaft uh, right here on the, on the back of your gearbox. It's uh, just easier that way. So you disconnect it and just leave it attached. Don't try and pry it or move it. Um, you can if you want, but I just leave it attached until you have all your bolts out. Before you take all your bolts out, jack it up again, once again, and then move your blocks. Once all the oil is drained, you can move this out of the way, move this over to the middle of your transmission. And then what you can do is uh, take all your bolts out. So when you split it, you can actually pull it so you're not putting any excess weight unnecessarily on one end. But uh, also another thing that I, I would suggest is if you do have uh, a second person around, just have an extra person standing around holding on to your engine because when you split this apart, this will be teetering a little bit. And the last thing you wanna do is have it smash on the ground. It is an all aluminum block, so she will crack on you.